Hey, what's good, y'all? It's me, Splizzit, up here with Boss Biz, Boss Biz Radio. Go check out my new album, Music Box. Streaming everywhere right now. We litty. Peace. Welcome to the Indie Grussell on Boss Biz Radio. And tonight's guest, or if you guys don't know about Splizzard, well, what's up, Splizzard? How you doing? What's up? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? I'm just uh, excited to be back in the studio. Uh, in review number two. So yes, that's what's up. So you guys, if you guys don't know how he got his name, I suggest you go back and check out our past Boss Biz interview. This is a catch up. So tell me, what have you been up to? Since the last time I seen you, it, I think it's been about, I want to say about a year. Yeah, a little over a year, a little over a year. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we've been uh, doing a lot of things. Uh, we had a lot of plans back mm -hmm. then in that last show. Uh, still working on all that stuff, but we had to scale things back. Uh, we we moved to a new studio, mm -hmm. uh, so we're out Brentwood now. But we do mixing, mastering, we recording, okay. uh, we we helping a lot of artists out here. So uh, mm. we're doing our thing. And last time you brought a friend with you, and I was trying to remember his name, and I don't want to get it wrong, but I think it was like was it Buddha? Buddha Man, Buddha Man 316. Okay. He couldn't be here today. But, okay. Uh, he he's uh, awesome. He does our beats, production, mm -hmm. uh, all that stuff. So um, yeah, definitely. And then last time I interviewed you, you kind of did wanted to just focus on the music part. Yes. But I've been seeing um, ads um, as far as the tech mm -hmm. things that that's still you you're still into that yeah yeah okay. yeah yeah definitely uh i mean i do my little tech thing stuff on the side but that's mm -hmm. my my business you know okay so make some money <laughs> okay all right so the music have you would you say you've seen any growth in your music since the last time we've been here oh uh, yeah definitely uh, a lot of growth um i mean we dropped the whole album at first we were just doing singles um, but then we, we, we got a whole album together. Um, uh, my, I feel like my flows evolved. Uh, mm -hmm. That's grown. Talk about some different things. Uh, trying to open up a little bit more. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Talk about my re relationships and shit like that. So, oh. You know. Now, would that be friendship relationships, personal relationships, work relationships, or just relationships in general? Well, I'm married, so that'd be my wife, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We go through our things, so it, it comes out in our uh, in my music mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot. So. Okay. Well, now it is, but that, that, that's me growing as an artist. You know? What about work relationships and friend friendships? Uh, I mean, all Friendships are relationships. Friend relationships. Well, yeah, that all that stuff. <laughs> all that stuff is influenced in my music, music, man. I'm talking about friends. I'm talking about people that did me wrong, you know. And oh, how to, let's how to, talk about it. Oh. Uh, Okay, we can. I, I mean, not to get into your personal business, but how do you deal mm -hmm. when you feel that you've been wrong? Because you may feel like you've been wrong, mm -hmm. and the person that wronged you might feel like you're tripping, or that it's not that serious. Yeah. How would you deal with something, mm -hmm. let's say, as far as supporting your music? Uh, if you had someone close to you, or whatever, that just wasn't supporting you, and it bothered you, but they felt like... Mm -hmm. It's like, is that something that you would easily get over or? Uh, I mean, that's that's a hard one. I mean, I definitely have uh, a problem with that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I mean, you, you want everybody close to you to support you. Right. Uh, so luckily I, I'm in a position where uh, most of the people closest to me do support me. Mm -hmm. They come to my shows. Uh, they record my stuff, they help me with my videos, my wife does all my videos, record okay. and stuff, you know what I'm saying, so uh, luckily I have a good support system, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I mean, that definitely hurt me, uh, I mean, I, I do have some people, I mean, they, they, they doubted me <coughs> a lot in the past, you know, and I just... How do you look at them now? I just look do at them. Do you just <laughs> be like... <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah, yeah, kind of. I just laugh at it, you know. I just post my stuff and mm -hmm. just, and I see who 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 pays attention to it. But you know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of funny because you know they doubt you, but yeah. then all all it takes is perseverance, man. You just gotta keep at it mm -hmm. and keep going, and, and you can go a long way. Just don't stop, you know. Mm -hmm. Just keep keep moving. Do forward. you have an end goal? What is your end goal as far as your music? Um, well, career, wanna, as far as your music career. I want to do the music for a little while. Um, 
try to make some money in that. But then we, <clears throat> we're building a big backbone too uh, with this music. So we're trying to support younger artists, uh, trying to get them out there now uh, under our label. Um, and uh, we're, we're gonna try to like work on just behind the scenes things. And, and because we got the studio now mm -hmm. and we're legit. So uh, we're gonna do just just a lot of like helping artists and mixing, mastering, that type of things. We, we do beats. I mean, we do everything. We do videos and hmm. pretty much everything. So that's where we're, the end goal right now is just making it into a bigger business mm -hmm. uh, so we can make money and, and sit back a little bit. The reason I ask that question is because a lot of our artists or rappers or singers or just people, um, celebrities that we that maybe have been our favorite singers or rappers growing up, mm -hmm. um, once you get older, a lot of them aren't still doing music. Yeah. They're investing in businesses. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to ask, like, what's your end goal? Because I was listening to something the other day, and they was just like, you know, if you're going to do this music thing, you also got to think about, okay, when you, how you're going to transition, mm -hmm. you know, just to have something when you don't feel like going out and touring or when you yeah. don't feel like going to the studio. And sometimes people feel like they outgrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It. I mean, I got, I got a lot of stuff going on anyway, <laughs> so I mean, I, I do, like I said, my, my computer stuff, so I, mm -hmm. I own my whole business and I, I work on that, but I mean, the music stuff, I just, I want to make it into its, its own thing, mm -hmm. where it's, it's going to just make money, you know what I'm saying, and, and I don't right. have to be there all the time, mm -hmm. you know, I, I still have the passion right now, and I feel like I always will at, at some, some capacity, mm -hmm. uh, so I feel like uh, I don't want to transition out of music, right? Uh, but we can always invest in things. Uh, I'm, I'm really big into stocks and stuff like that. So I mean, we're always trying to invest uh, Bitcoin uh, into in our future. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because uh, you never know; things are uncertain. <laughs> mm. So you dropped, you dropped a couple of, um, you dropped a project, Music Box, and then you dropped a single before that, which is I. Isn't hard hardline? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and before that, yeah, because I haven't seen you in a while. Eyes closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So we, like I said, we had to take a hiatus because we we had to rebuild the brand, mm. get the studio together, yep. and and we built that from the ground up. Uh, we had it built specifically just for us, the mm -hmm. roof and everything. So. Okay, uh, Chopper and my chick. That's you. You've been working. Yeah, well, no, no, no. That I seen you after that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. you've been you've been working. Yeah, we um, got a lot. We got a lot of stuff. Other stuff that we uh, got that's just unreleased, and we just have to release it. But mm -hmm. I mean, we got a couple artists that have albums that basically are done, but we just gotta find out how to release them. <laughs> so. oh, okay. So yeah, it's it's kind of like a, a whole a whole process. Yeah. Now let's talk about Music Box. All the right. project, the entire album. Yeah. Um, I like how you arranged the music. Now, was that you, or do you have someone that tells you, okay, you know what? Maybe you should put this song and then have it lead into this song mm -hmm. and then end with this song. Like, how do you come up with that process? Um, I mean, it, it's like a spitball thing. Uh, I kind of, kind of uh, thought of the basic idea myself um, but then we go through and we listen to it and, and people say maybe this should be here this is there but I mean like uh, the last song AWOL I knew that was gonna be the last song mm -hmm. I knew uh, um, Blow That Smoke was gonna be the first song so there's yeah, certain things I knew where, where they were gonna be mm -hmm. uh, I knew Music Box was gonna be somewhere in the middle so and your process your process of writing your music um, do you write or do you freestyle most of the uh, time? We good, we good, everybody. <laughs> um, we, we write, oh I write, um, I do some freestyling too. So uh, some of my stuff is freestyle, uh, I, I, I kind of write fast. So I'm basically like. What do you? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You're not about to speed through that. What do you mean you write fast? You is this chicken scratch that you're talking about? Or do you have nice handwriting? Oh no, I, I'm not, I don't even write. I okay, you're phone. talking about in your phone. So yeah. do you uh, voice? No. To speech or you actually type it? I'm typing out everything. I'm just thinking it. Really? So, sometimes I, my my brain goes faster than I can type. But you know, mm -hmm. I, I get it done. It's, it's a crazy process, but it's, it's kind of like a puzzle, just mm -hmm. putting it together. And you so. rather type it than 
Yeah. Record yourself, just rapping it out. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Crazy. Mm. Okay. Like, so let's talk about the the album. Um, why did you name it Music Box? What inspired? What were some of the inspirations for this particular project? Uh, well, um, I mean, I was doing music for a while, about a year, just dropping singles. People were like, man, when are you going to drop an album? When, when are you going to drop something? And then uh, went off the grid for a little while and people were asking. So I, I started making these songs and I was like, man, this is my music box. This is my like Pandora's box of music. So, mm -hmm. and it gets a little bit of uh, everything in, in, on the album. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of different types of vibes. So I tried to mix it up a little bit, you know, and, and that's what... That's what Music Box is. It's like my collaborative effort of, of everything I've just been working on, trying to get out. Now, which songs didn't make the cut for the album? <laughs> and um, is it going to be on the next one? Or did you put everything that you wrote on there? No, we got we got uh, a lot of songs that didn't make it. Um, oh, shit, what's that one? Uh, I don't even know what it's called, but uh, I, I posted a video on it on my Instagram and everybody's like, when, when's that song coming out? I'm like, a long time. <laughs> okay, but, okay. Uh, there, we, we got like a collaborative group album coming out. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be called uh, uh, the, the Buddha Bang album. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but basically it's going to have like uh, stuff with me, Little Bro, uh, mm -hmm. ATP, DMV. Mm -hmm. uh, we got this new artist, uh, Malvo. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, tone, uh, he's, he's on my album. Uh, so we got a couple people, but there is, we got to have a big stable, but we just got to get these these songs out. So that's our, our what we're focusing on now, just getting music out. As you should, as you should. So I want you to go ahead and um, before you introduce your song, right. I just want to say this. All right. You guys, and this song had me in a daze. Like, I was literally driving, and it just had me, I don't know if it was the, you know, the, <laughs> I'm not going to say what it is on camera, yeah. but at the same time, with the music, I mean, I really enjoy listening to this song because it, it's something that I can drive to, I can vibe to, I can ride to, <laughs> so... You know, um, but go ahead, Splizzer, introduce your first song. All right, so this is uh, a title song off my album. Uh, it's called Music Box. And um, it's basically like this, it's not an upbeat. Well, it's kind of, you know, y'all gonna hear it. <laughs> but uh, it's basically the collaborative of my, my, my whole, everything I've been working on, so. Music Box, y'all. Make sure to go ahead and um, stream that, stream that song, stream that album. I mean, you'll really enjoy it. Um, Appreciate it if y'all do. Yeah. Any any words to your listeners? Um, I never really ask artists this question, but if you had a microphone and all of your fans were in one room, what would you tell them? Oh man. I I just be like man, uh, follow y'all dreams, man, and and just do whatever y'all think y'all can do, man. Just y'all y'all probably can. Y'all just gotta keep at it and trying, man. Mm -hmm. That that's pretty much what my music is about, man. I'm, I'm trying to be inspirational, and you know I have my hard joints and my, my joints to bop, but you know I want everybody to just know that they can do it for themselves, man. You know. It's not easy um, doing it by yourself and for yourself, yeah. especially coming up as a independent artist. I see. A lot of times, I'm glad you're still at it, but I mean, from the time I even got in the music industry, so many artists have, I wouldn't say given up, 
but pretty much just feel like it's a dead end. Yeah. yeah. Like if you're not conforming. Yeah. Then yeah. it's like, what's the point? Yeah. No, nah, it's it's definitely hard. I feel that struggle all the mm -hmm. time, man. And, and like I said, we got artists not stable, mm -hmm. and that's why things don't move so so fluently. Mm -hmm. But that's that's the thing I got. You know, saying so you gotta know is as long as you're moving forward every day, mm -hmm. as you're putting some type of progress towards it, eventually you're gonna hit your end goal, man, and and you're gonna you're gonna uh, be really happy with yourself, and you know, so that's what I want people to see. If you had the opportunity to either get signed to a major label. Mm. Or just get distribution from a major label. Or do it all on your own. Mm. What would you choose to do? Oh man. And this is this is hard, but I don't want y'all to go off my personal decision. I feel like what you should do, you should do it yourself, because it's a lot more money in doing it yourself. Mm -hmm. A distribution bill is, is good for you because uh, it's going to help you get your name out there. Uh, but th at this point in my career, I'll probably take the deal, man, and just pop out my albums. I'd, I'd knock them out mm -hmm. like Jay-Z every, every summer, man. You had something from me, I, my deal would be done. Mm -hmm. And then I'd work on my own stuff, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I'd get my own stuff out there. So that, that's what I would do. I, I like how how you you said that because... Success and I, <laughs> we're always talking about um, doing it yourself. Mm -hmm. But then there's a ceiling. Yeah. yeah. It's the ceiling that it's invisible. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't figure out why you're not going you past the ceiling. Yeah. But it's something there. And a lot of people don't like to talk about the machine. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that there is a machine? That really can make you can, can flip a switch and you're a star today, and flip a switch um, and we forget about you tomorrow. It it's not really a machine. It, it's really money. You know, it takes ten thousand dollars to break an artist, man. So if you don't got that type of money in your I pocket, heard four, I heard forty. Forty thousand. Well, maybe you know, <laughs> inflation, man. We got gas prices going up. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. so, <laughs> yeah, no, that's it, true. it takes a lot of money to break a new artist just mm -hmm. to get known. Saying. So if you don't got that money in your pocket, probably sign. yeah, I probably sign. You know, I probably sign and just, just just to get my name out there. You know what I'm saying? Cause I put a lot of time into this. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I don't have the time that like these young artists got. So I would just go ahead and get that deal and then uh, do my albums, get out the deal, and then do my independent shit. You know. Mm. The reason I ask is because they said Takashi's going broke. Oh really? Probably. <laughs> I don't know. And you would think, like already, is he? It. <laughs> really? He, he's blowing cash. When he from the guy out of jail, I saw him. He's blowing cash, man, for no mm. reason. And then, you know, his album sales ain't what they used to be. So of course yeah, he going broke. Spent it all. Yeah. And that's a, I, I, that a lot of artists go through that too, where they get that advance. Mm -hmm. And not saying that this happened to Takashi, mm -hmm. but. Artists get their advance mm. and they blow it. Yeah, no, you got you got to be smart. I feel like you got to be smart. It's not with what you look like and what you drive and what you you wear and all that stuff, man. You gotta. So if a label gave you a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar advance, what's the first thing you would do with it? Uh, <laughs> Look at you rubbing your hands. <laughs> nah. He like. Um... I'm gonna lead y'all right. I pay my debt. Then I pay my mama's debt, uh -huh. and then I put the rest of the album, the money into my album or whatever I need to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and then I, I, I'd either invest the rest, you know what I'm saying, or I save it mm -hmm. in a way where it's gonna make money. Cause money just sitting there. I mean, it's making a little bit of money, but you gotta make your money work for you. So you gotta invest it. So I, I probably invest some of it. You know, mm -hmm. just me being the person that I do. I like to do a lot of stuff uh, my, with my hands on anyway. So if, if I got a big uh, advance from the label. I put that into my own studio and make that better. So our production level is where it needs to be, where we're not paying ten thousand dollars for a beat or something, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll save money that way. So that's Ooh. what I would do. Speaking of beats, you got some fire 
A beats Thank you. on this project. Thank you. Thank you. Who do you work with if you can if you don't mind sharing? Like who do, do you have just one person? Do you have a few people? You have like your little goodie bag where you like I'm only working with these three. Like how yeah. do you choose? Yeah, that's that's pretty much how it is. I mean, uh we like I said, we like to do it all in, in our own stable. So Buddha Man, 316, follow him. Uh, he does all the beats on the album. Um, he does all the beats in the studio. If you guys ever come by, if somebody ever wants to record, he'd probably be there. You know what I'm saying? So he, he's the man. Buddha mm. Man, he, he's selling beats too. So holla at him on Instagram. Get some of these beats, man, because they're going for good prices, man. Definitely Buddha Man. Uh, I have a couple other people. Uh, Daco. Daco mm -hmm. Music, follow him. He doing his thing. Uh, he dropped Chocolate Baby, like 100,000 uh, streams on that. Uh, he got a lot of big stuff coming out uh, uh, of his his uh, his his window, so uh, that's good. And then uh, we got one more guy, uh, Cliff. Uh, get him hype. Uh, he makes some beats for us too. Uh, mm -hmm. So go follow him. So we got we got three beat guys. Okay. I know that's right. Speaking of. Fire Ass Beats, you did, you sent us a few songs today, so mm -hmm. I want to talk about this next song, Hardline. Okay. Any few words before you introduce this song? Uh, yeah, Hardline uh, is my, my single uh, for my album. Um, I mean, I don't know really what to say about it, you know, it's, uh, it's an upbeat song, uh, kind of commercial, <laughs> but that's what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. uh, I was trying to put some fire on that joint, so. That's pretty much what it's about. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy Hardline. Yeah, well, they sold my shit. Probably cause they want mine. Frontline, don't mind. Always on my hustle, motherfucker, I don't flatline. When I say we working, means we cooking in the kitchen. Fire in the pot, tell me what my crew are mixing. Always on my flow, you know it's like my new addiction. Hardline, Splitzer. If you guys don't have that, make sure you go download that ASAP. So we are back in Splitzer. You wanted to, you know, introduce or, you know, just share some light on some of the artists that you're working with? Yeah, man. We, we got a lot of new artists and, and old artists. Uh, Little Bro, uh, I want you to make sure you follow him. Uh, he got a whole album uh, that's going to come out real soon. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a, a guy, uh, Daco. Uh, that's D-O-C. C K K O Daco, mm. uh, follow him. Daco music. He got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we got a new artist, Malvo. Uh, he got a whole album that's done. We just gotta get that out. Um, we got like a collaborative album coming out uh, that has everybody on it, uh, even ATP DMB, uh, and then follow ATP DMB. Uh, but he's on that too. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on uh, behind the scenes. A lot of albums that we're trying to get out. Y'all working, y'all working, y'all working. Not to mention, you got studio yeah, too. Trying, 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 man. Mm, got, okay. Got a video coming out uh, for my song on the album. Uh, what's that? Uh, uh, shit. <laughs> Street Life. <Yeah. laughs> Damn. So we got a video for Street Life coming out. Uh, mm -hmm. We just editing that down, so that should be out soon. Yep. Okay, Street Life. Now tell us about the studio. Is it is it open for business? Like, can I just show up and be like, yo, I need a beat? I mean, pretty much. Uh, or I gotta be, I'm trying to rap. You, you gotta give us a call, you know what I'm saying? Let, let, okay, let just us pop know. up. Yeah, I mean, we're in there, but you know. Can we book online? We can book online. Uh, we can, You can text uh, and uh, someone will answer. You can book that way too. It's $50 an hour. Okay. Uh, but that covers and mix in, master in, uh, everything. So your stuff will be ready to upload. Uh, we'll put the auto tune on it, make it sound nice. So, mm. you know what I'm saying? We'll hook you up. All right. All right. So, what you working on? What you got coming up? Um, well, me personally, uh, I'm actually working on the second album. I got a couple uh, singles coming out okay. uh, that's not going to be on that album. Uh, one's called, uh, shit, <laughs> one's called Three Stars, uh, Two Stripes, mm. DC, you know what I'm saying, uh, represent the city, so that's coming out soon. Uh, my man Get Him Hype made that beat, he's actually on that song. Uh, also, my man D Slay is on that. Go follow him too. He's not doing much in the music, but he's featuring on some of our stuff. So he he, he pretty hot. So go ahead and follow him too. Uh, okay. But yeah, got a lot of singles coming out. Working on a new album. 
Uh, I got some videos coming out for the old album. So mm. just, and then we do reaction videos too. So yes, follow, yes. Follow our YouTube channel. We, we, we always. Uh, tell them shit. your YouTube channel. Go ahead, tell uh, them. Blizzard. Follow me, YouTube, mm -hmm. Blizzard. And that's pretty much it. Our videos. Y'all be like, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, we got to, we got I like it though. I like it. What's like? What, what they reacted to? All I see y'all moving. Y'all sitting in the yeah. chairs and stuff. Yeah, that's okay. pretty good, man. And we got we got some new upgrades in the studio, so the mm -hmm. new video is gonna look really nice, man. So we got a lot of a lot of stuff in, moving around, a lot of stuff coming out. Yeah, you a busy, busy, busy man. You got you working on a lot. Got a lot going on. You about to drop some some new music. So, um, before we go. Tell everybody where they can find you at. Well, you just said it. Yeah, you the can. Splizzard. Splizzard, the Splizzard, IG, Splizzard, mm -hmm. YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, follow our studio, Universal Mindset Studios, mm -hmm. with an S on IG. Mm -hmm. um, go look us up, www.universalmindsetstudios.com. Book some time. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll come out there and personally record your shit, mix mm -hmm. your shit up, man. Make it sound nice, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, we're just doing the thing, man. We out here. Follow all the guys in our stable. You know, I'm at ATP, uh, Buddha Man, uh, Lil Bro, uh, Darko, Malvo. Uh, and even follow uh, Shannon Bear. She do the fitness stuff. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So follow all of us, man. We out here. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Y'all need to go on tour. Y'all got enough people. Yeah, we got enough people. We just gotta get everybody on the same page, man. Yeah. Then we can do it. All, <laughs> it. all it takes is just, you know, just set a couple of dates and yeah. just go on the road. Y'all got enough music, you know. Yeah, yeah. We show do. up together, just a power team. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. move together, it's like a force. Yep, yep. I agree, man. That's that's the next step, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. So this song. All right. You see how excited I got y'all? Okay. This song right here okay. was the first song that I played when you sent it to me and okay. it caught me off guard, right? Because I, I didn't know what to expect because none of your music, like, is, is not, all of them are not the same. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not like I could be like, oh, okay, this is what Splinter's song is going to Like, I was just sitting there and I was like, I don't know what to expect, but <laughs> it was like, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. So, switching lanes. Yeah. So switching lanes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's a new song. Uh, it might be on the album. I, I might throw a whole nother verse on there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's unreleased at this point, but it's just a fun song, man. We went in there in the studio, uh, just fucking around, and I wrote this this verse really fast. Mm. Speed, speed wrote it because we we had limited time in the studio. Uh, but yeah, we got that down, man. It's a real fun song. I like how it came out, and I got good response from it. So I figured we we play it today. You're extremely talented, Swizzer. Sure. I just want you to know that I I really really appreciate you coming back to Ball Spirits Radio, showing us some love and some support. Definitely. Um, I'm very grateful for that. I want you to know that personally. Thank um, you. Keep on grinding out here, like yeah. I see you, I hear you. Um, as I tell everybody, make sure that, you know, I can't keep up with all you artists. Like, I just did. My, I was looking through my database. I'm like, damn, I interview all these people. So make sure, yeah. like, you guys, you know, at least tag me. You're not annoying me by tagging me and your stuff. So gotcha. please make sure, like, when you put posting something, tag me. I'm not going to block you. You know, at least I know what you got and I can repost it. I can't repost it if I don't see it. Exactly, man. We and I can't, I can't, you know, I don't keep up with my personal page and my business page and then all hundred of y'all artists I'm like yeah it's a lot man it's a lot I'm starting know. to learn that now man mm -hmm. so that's why our production slowed down but we, I think we feel like we back in the, the right track man we, we gonna drop some, some fire soon man we're all getting back but Slizzard thanks again and thank you for having me yeah say so I mean one last thing you want to say to your followers your fans the people that support you the people that love you I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate every fan I get, man. I want y'all to just follow me in this journey, man. I'm just doing this, man. Just, just trying to do it for for the sake of music, man, because this is what I love, and I want to show y'all y'all can do it too. So. And so. great things are coming, y'all. Go ahead and introduce this last song. All right, this last song is called Switching Lanes. And this is a little fun track I'm working on. It's not even done yet, but this is what I got, man. It's it's, it's done enough. <laughs> for y'all to hear. <laughs> Switching lanes, y'all. Thank you, Splinter. We lit.
Switching lanes, switching lanes, changing lanes.